there has been uh, gaps within this uh, sector. We have even asked the criminal department, the criminal investigations department, DCI, to intervene in, uh, in, the, um, in the system. Because we understand there are people who very surprisingly and very immorally are actually selling blood, sometimes even outside the borders of this country. And that is just um, making the, 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 the situation even worse that it would otherwise be. As uh, Governor Kuti has We realized we have gaps. And uh, today's meeting, therefore, is to address those gaps. The gaps start with the issues of governance at the blood transfusion service. It also, and the blood transfusion service is managed at the national level. How do we strengthen these linkages and to ensure that services at the county is strengthened and counties are also empowered to be able to provide adequate, safe blood for use at the county level. The, on, the, on the issue of, um, of uh, PEPFA, we are very grateful. And we are, we are great, very grateful to PEPFA and USAID generally for the support that they have given this sector. And uh, I think it is good for us to call a spade a spade and take responsibility because the transition from PEPFA funding to Kenya government funding is what did not occur as it was supposed to occur. So um, we are filling the gap as a, as a Kenya government. We are filling the gap. Even as we wait for uh, parliament to enact the proposed law that we are going to take to them, we are also going to be taking measures to leg through regulation, to through regulation create a framework uh, that can immediately embark on, uh, on the changes that we want to make so that when the law is passed, it will simply, we will simply transit into that framework legally. But that is not to, the, the fact that we are waiting for the law to be enacted does not mean that we, we cannot immediately start making um, uh, changes. We are also very happy. The issue of the bill in Parliament, and we want to manage blood, not as a department in the ministry, but a standalone authority uh, uh, within the ministry, as a saga within the ministry. Because clearly, we have not been giving sufficient attention to this area that is so, so critical. So we are departing from the point of view of a patient needs blood, a mother delivering a child needs blood, and working backwards from that perspective, ask ourselves, what therefore do we need to do to ensure that there is no shortage? The blood is where it is required. It is there at the right time. It is there at the right quantity. We have therefore had a very, very fruitful deliberation. A lot of stakeholders, donors, and also the issue of financing has come up. We know that the donors are pulling out of Kenya for various reasons because Kenya is now a middle-income country. And therefore, how do we as a country also step up in, to be able to step in financing not only blood but other medical products? Specifically, the World Bank has been willing to step in and uh, assist even as we try to transit again the second time